keep the current files or the newer files on your system. After it says the setup was successfully completed, you can click OK, then go to Start, Programs, the EasyScan group, and then copy the EasyScan executable file to the desktop for easy operation. Now there may be a disk 3 included with your software package, again depending upon the version of Windows you have. Insert this into the drive, and using Windows Explorer, Copy the buck 500 INI file to your Windows directory and also to the EasyScan directory under the Program Files window. This will ensure proper communication between the M500 and the PC for operation and control. Make sure the M500 is turned on. And then we can begin using the EasyScan software. Buck Scientific cannot be liable for the setup and BIOS configuration of your particular computer unless it is purchased from Buck Scientific. Please make sure that the Buck 500 INI file is copied to the Windows folder and the EasyScan folder for proper communication parameters and operation of the system. The Buck INI file contains the COM port setup, which may be changed from COM1, which is the default, to COM2, as needed to get proper communication between the instrument and the PC. As with all spectroscopy software, it is necessary to start the day with a fresh background or reference spectrum on either an open path or the sodium chloride or ATR crystal that will be used for your samples. Replace the background with the sample material, scan the sample, and create your percent T or absorbent spectrum. From that spectrum, you can do search, peak pick, or print as desired. Double click on the easy scan icon making sure the data cables are connected to the back of the PC and the instrument. And you'll get the Buck Scientific logo in the EasyScan screen. You can maximize this as necessary. You can go to Instrument, Scan Mode, and here's where you can change the parameters for the setup of the instrument. It is recommended to change the scan type from the default reference. Click on change and set that for the single beam mode. Scan time of three is the usual default. A gain of zero is useful most of the time unless you have an accessory with a tremendous amount of light loss, then you can increase to a gain of one by clicking on the up icon. Cancel to exit this screen. We can now go to instrument, scan, 
and the software shows you the setup screen for the first scan. You can use the default file name of buck500 or change it to whatever eight character file you want. And it is recommended to put a reference name in the comment screen. And here we're just calling this the air background. We click on OK. The system will initialize itself and begin to collect the single beam data of the air background. When this is finished, we will run a polystyrene card and show how to create the percent transmission spectrum of that sample. When the single beam scan of the background is complete, you can see your profile of energy coming through the system. Take your polystyrene card, put it in the sample holder, click on instrument, scan, and when the sample ID window comes up, change the file name to buck501 or another appropriate file name and put a comment in to identify the sample. Click OK. The system will reset itself and you'll see the single beam spectrum of the polystyrene card being run. With the completed sample single beam spectrum on screen, we can now click on data, ratio background, select the background file name, which is buck500. Our sample file name, which is buck501. Click on OK and we have our ratio percent transmission scan on screen. We can take advantage of the click and drag zoom feature to expand certain parts of the spectrum and you have access to an option called the vertical cursor which will allow you to display peaks and get the position and absorbance or transmission values based on what the peak position and absorbance is. To unzoom, right click on the screen and select the undo zoom option. And again, you can see by using the page up, page down, or left, right cursor arrows, we can move our active cursor to whatever position we need. And by looking in the upper left corner, get the position of the peak, and in this case, the percent transmission value for that peak. To output to a printer, right click on the screen and select export dialog 
And there's where you can set up your output to a printer or a file as desired. Be sure to close the file before doing the next sample, otherwise the file data will be overwritten. This concludes the basic installation and software operations training video for the Buck Scientific M500 infrared spectrometer with both the advanced Grams AI software and the basic EasyScan software from Buck Scientific. Thank you.